Welcome to Zanzibar. Congratulations on completing the objectives Dragon. It is the last orbit of the mission and all that remains is to fire the retros and get back home. Thank you ZZB. Looking forward to stretching my legs and some fresh ocean air, I can imagine. Let's prepare for retro. Correct your current attitude and rates. The retros will be fired as planned at CSQ, with a splashdown close to Hawaii. Alrighty. We will soon be out of contact. Maintain retrograde attitude and prepare the cockpit for retro fire before reaching CSQ. Hello everybody and welcome back to another re-entry spaceflight simulator video. Yeah, so it seems like we're starting off in orbit here. We've just done several orbits around the Earth. And now it's time for us to head back home once we reach Hawaii. So, yeah, it seems like we are in a little bit of a spin. Uh, let's correct that maybe? Um, can we set you to aux on? Okay, there we go. So we have stopped spinning. We can now set that to norm, maybe? And now will we automatically aim retrograde? Yeah, it seems like we're good. So yeah, we were tumbling a little bit, but it seems like everything is fine now. So yeah, let's go ahead and check our checklist. Get ready for splashdown and re-entry. Other order, of course. I'd be a bit concerned if it happened splashdown then re-entry. Be like, why is there water up here? Anyways, gyro align? Use only if errors in gyro or in horizon scanners. Yeah, I think we have some errors because now we're, we're spinning again. So how do we align the gyro? So we gyro cage and then gyro free. Okay. So make sure we are zero. So cage the gyro. Alrighty. We are zero, zero, zero. No roll rates, no yaw rate, no pitch rate. And then we can free the gyro. Alrighty, and now we can go back to norm, and that should be fine. Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, okay, horizon check, attitude retrograde. Okay, are we in the retrograde? It's hard to tell. Alright, let's set this to auxiliary on and rate command. Do a bit of a roll here. I want to look at the ground below us. See what's going on. See which way we're going, because it's kind of hard to tell. Which way you're going when in space? <sighs> Come on. This is oh. Aurora 7. There seems to be some issue with the electricity. Uh oh. MCC, this is Aurora 7. Can you hear me? I have a major electrical issue. We'll try to correct and prepare for retro fire. Okay, electrical, electrical. Okay. Switching to standby battery. There we go. Standby battery on. Okay. So what happened? We lost the one, two, and three. We only have the standbys. Okay. Let's pull those then. So main one, main three, and main two. So those are pulled. So we just are running off. Isolated the two standbys. I guess M is just all of them. Okay. Isolated battery is norm. Do you want to set that to standby? I'm not sure. I think we're okay. Okay, I was making sure we're aiming retrograde. That's nah, troublesome. Alright, let's just hope that it can, it, can, it can reorientate itself. I mean, I won't be able to know if we're aiming retrograde until we get to the point, but let's see. On orbit, emergency procedures. Electrical system. Turn battery off. It's main bus. Okay, no, main bus is fine. Let's see, we just had a main battery failure. So we turn the battery off. Audio bus switch to emergency. There we go. Main bus power. Isolated battery to standby. Alrighty. Okay, so we are back. We can go ahead and do a comm check. Or maybe they still can't hear us. I think we're okay. Okay, let's just set up for retro at our earliest convenience. Okay, we are not aimed retrograde at all. You know what, we probably lost signal. We're probably in a distant area where there's no signal, so we'll try and get back to that. So there we go, now we're aiming retrograde. Let's do a bit of pitch down. Oh, no, don't roll it. There we go, pitch down, just so I can kind of see what's going on around me. Yeah, okay. Stop the roll, stop the yaw. I don't want yaw. All right, there we go, we can look at our periscope and we are basically aiming retrograde. It's like all reset. Do I need to repull all this? Time to retrograde 11 minutes. I mean, we're aimed retrograde. Yeah, I can see down here that we are aiming retrograde. Okay, that's good. So we can go ahead and 
Normalize those, set you to auto. Okay, cool. So that's good. All right, let's check our pre-retro. That's 30 minutes before retro time. Yeah, we should be doing that. Okay. Emergency retro sequence fuse. In. In. Emergency retro. Yeah, make sure all those are in. All the fuses related to the Jitro. Excess suit H2O. Oh. Let's switch to suit fan number two. Excess suit H2O. What is that? Excess cabin H2O. Okay, okay, okay. Um, communication system, fire or fumes, decomp. So are our batteries not working? Uh, I think. Is it because we crank those up? I don't know. Suit fan fails, a number two to switch in automatically. Emergency O2 lever? Cabin fan. Alrighty, so we switch the suit fan. Try to switch this to standby. Switch that to standby as well, probably. Where's suit stuff? Suit fan. Cabin fan. I don't know. We're not going retrograde anymore. That's the problem. Side by wire. We're doing this manually. Because, yeah, it positioned us sideways. Easy does it. Easy does it. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't know about the fan. Transfer to emergency oxygen. We have oxygen. It's just excess H2O. I don't know what that means. Can we get a radio check? No. Okay. Five minutes to retrograde. Let's make sure the five minutes to retrograde light comes on. We're kind of ready for it a little bit. We're basically ready for it. Just don't know where the emergency oxygen would be. There's not that many switches in here. How am I missing it? Pull the emergency O2 lever. Is that it? Should I be worried about these? I don't know. Maybe that should be normal. Oh, there we go. That got rid of those warnings. I don't know how switching the, the audio bus got rid of the H2O, but apparently that did. Okay, so that needs to be normal. Because it's not, we're not having an AC failure, I guess. Okay. I think that we're getting comms back. Hello, Houston. Okay, five minutes to retro light. We are good. And then in zero seconds, we do retro sequence. So probably just got to manually do that. I'll, man I'll manually get ready to do that. Because I don't know if it'll go automatically, because we kind of had a power cycle. Everything kind of shut down. So we'll probably have to go through the stages manually. We'll enjoy that. It'll be great in a good old time. But yeah, we're just we're just in fly by wire mode. We're just chilling. Good morning. Great to see you again, Aurora 7. Yep. Uh, we seem to have some issues with telemetry data. Status report, I have issues with the electrical system, attitude instruments, and the, the ASCS. Horizon scanners are probably gone too. Roger, telemetry is correct then. Let's work this out. Did you turn off the main batteries yet? It seems like the radio works so you have power. Can you use the window and the periscope for attitude control? Yep, we're already uh, orientated retrograde and the batteries are off. Retro sequence starting. Verify the cockpit is ready. Prepare for any manual overrides and attitude bypass. Roger. Yeah, so we'll probably have to, yeah, bypass that because the capsule doesn't think we're in a retro attitude. But yeah, as you can see, we can tell with our eyes that we are aiming retrograde. So we will just bypass that. Um, and then initiate retro sequence when this gets to zero. So when this time to retrograde gets to zero, we'll have to hit that button manually. And then we'll have to reorientate ourselves for re-entry as well. Which right, so we never had to do before, so this will be interesting. But it shouldn't be too hard. I mean, we did manually take control over that one time when we, were ha when we had to re-enter. Um, yeah. That was something. They are flying over Japan, Korea. Oh, yeah, let's see it down there. One minute to go. Are we ready? I think so we're ready. I think so we're ready. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Retro sequence started. Bypass. Fire retro. Oh, there, no, there it goes. Brace yourselves. There it goes, it's going. Ignition. Yep, ignition. Ooh, the G's. 
Ooh, the G's. Actually, I don't know how many G's to be pulling during retro. Maybe not too many. I mean, at least one, right? It'd be something. We recommend you to shut down the programmer by setting its fuse to off for the reminder of the flight, and remain in manual attitude control. Alright, I shut down the programmer. This includes manual jettison of the retros, triggering .05 G, and the chutes. Start by separating the retros when ready. Okay, programmer, programmer, phase shifter? Which one's the programmer? Oh, programmer. Yeah, go ahead and pull that all the way out. Alrighty, so yeah, we gotta do all this manually, so kapow. Retros are gone. Yep, yeah, those are goodbye. Maintain attitude and prepare as much as you can for entry. We will see you at Hawaii where we will trigger the 0.05 G and re-enter. Yep. Roger. Alrighty, so let's do a bit of orientation. So we're gonna go ahead and, no, not yeah, but roll. No, yeah, roll. Do a little bit of roll and we're gonna pitch up a little bit so that our heat shield is aimed slightly down because I think that's the difference between retro and re-entry. Is retro, we just gotta be aiming backwards. Re-entry, we gotta be aiming a little bit up because we're going down. So we want the heat shield to be hitting the thing. So we'll go ahead and pitch a little bit up, like until we can't really see the earth anymore and then that'll be our final orientation. We'll probably have to correct for it a little bit as we get lower. As you can see, we're not quite stationary because like, it's so hard to finagle these. So yeah, and we got the scope there. I mean, we can go ahead and retract that and then get ready for all that stuff. Oh boy! <laughs> wow. Look at those stars out there. I wonder what those are. I don't recognize any constellations. I mean, could that be Orion? Oh, lots of them fly by. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. It's like a smudge over there. Is that a galaxy? Andromeda? Everything seems good. Anything else we really need to be worried about other than doing everything ourselves? Just remember landing. I mean, yeah, we're just we're just doing all this ourselves. Going through the whole programmer. Revert to manual control. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I know I said that we were gonna do a thing with Alex, but um, yeah, he's a little busy, so we'll probably end up doing that at some other point. Um, Cause yeah, I'm just really excited to move on to Gemini. So we'll probably end up moving on to Gemini. And then if we decide to come back to Mercury to do that, that would be fine. Um, yeah. We might be listing a little bit. Yeah, because our orbit's not perfectly circular, so it's bound to happen. There you go. Back to aiming retro-ish. Good enough for me. <sighs> a few minutes later. Alrighty, still aimed retrograde. Just waiting. I mean, we know it took a while from our first orbit. <laughs> After you do the retro, it's like, oh yeah. Still waiting. Still waiting to come down. It's not like retro and then, oh, you're down. Like, for redstone. It's like, oh yeah, no, we're still up here. Just chilling. Um, <laughs> which is great. It's great. Let's love it. Love it. Aurora 7, welcome to Hawaii. Let's land this capsule. Sounds like a good plan. Okay. Maneuver to attitude and trigger 0.05 G when ready. Keep manual attitude control during entry. Roger, will do. I think we're pretty much aimed pretty good. Let's just maybe do a little bit of roll, a little bit of pitch up, and roll. Nah, sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. No, no, other way. Yaw back. No, don't roll. Yaw. Yeah, good. Alrighty. Pitch back. Look at space. Okay. Enjoy 25. the view of Hawaii as you fly over, and we'll see you on the other side of the atmosphere. Good luck today. Alrighty. Can't really see anything except for out my window. Let us hope we're aimed right. I mean, aerodynamics should hopefully take control, because, I mean, the reason you have a capsule is because they're aerodynamically stable. Heat shield first. You just don't want to go in nose first, because then you'll become aerodynamically stable nose first. Depends on what attitude you hit the atmosphere at, depending on what attitude you'll be able to stay facing. Kind of how that works. Ooh, yeah, see, there we go. We are... Atmosphere's taken hold. Let's see, we are... Pitch rolling. I'm gonna try and pitch back up a little bit more, cancel all that out. But yeah, it seems like atmosphere is really holding us. I mean, all we can really do is roll, so. 
We'll just let the atmosphere take hold. Do a slight roll, I guess. It's kind of a good trick. Rolling might be a slightly good trick. Maybe a little bit. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, we're kind of stable. As you can see, the gyros are jumping all over the place. But that's because the atmosphere is kind of biting us down right now. We are in the atmosphere. Altimeter's still showing above 100. It's above Carmen line. But, you know, still a bit of atmosphere up here. There's Hawaii, I think. There it is. Hello, Hawaii. Aloha. And there's the plasma. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. It's, it's warm. It's very, very warm. Already pitch up, pitch up, pitch up, pitch up a little bit. Quick pitch up. Yeah, I think we're pretty much fine here, actually. Yeah. Ooh, toasty, toasty, toasty. Pulling G's. Nine G's. Nine G's. Goodness gracious. Come on, you got this. We can make it through this. We can make it through the fire and the flames. Alright, I think we're almost through the thick of it now. Aurora 7, do you read? Yes, we read. Loud and clear. Alrighty, we're falling, we're falling. So, it says Drogue goes there. Yeah, so we need to put the drogue right about there. Okay. I see water. Drogue there is out. Yeah, there's the drogue. We can go and pull the snorkel. There we go. Pull that. That should give us the yeah, O2 alarm. I turned that off, though. And then we'll just pull the main when we get down to that height. Oh, and I guess after we get the main out, then we arm the landing bag. We're coming down. Oh, never mind. It went by itself. Look at that. And that went by itself, too. Okay, cool. I hear that inflating. Okay. Well, it seems like the the it finished everything else by itself. It's like, yeah, no, we're just we're just, we're just gonna <laughs> come back to life all of a sudden, even though your fuse is pulled. That's interesting. Not complaining though. Well, we made it. We survived a disaster in space and a disaster on launch too. Well, not the first time. We survived the disaster on launch the second time after I knew what the key kind was for abort. Yeah. Main, a beautiful sight as always. Excellent. A bit of a tense ending to an otherwise well-executed mission. Great save on the electrical system and attitude control. Indeed it was. But any landing you can walk away from is a successful one. So let's analyze and learn from it. Indeed. Yes. Hope to get to fly that Gemini. We have just scratched the surface of space exploration. Indeed we have. Let me just, let me just read what, they, what I missed. Oh, no. Oh. Indeed, the last Mercury mission is soon complete. Okay, yeah, last Mercury mission. This is recovery. We have you inside. Welcome back. A lot of celebration here. Enjoy some time of your own. Okay, there we go. We have made it down, and that concludes the um, the Mercury capsule campaign. Again, like I said, we'll probably come back here if Alex ever decides that he wants to do that mission control thing. Because, yeah, for as crude as it is, it's very simple and very easy to understand. To be honest, we might actually do it a bit Splash reversed out. because, yeah, I've gone through the Mercury capsule. Alex hasn't. So we might actually be sending him up and we'll be mission control. That could be a lot of fun instead of doing it the other way around. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I think I think next time we will move on to Gemini because that just sounds like fun to me. We're getting into Gemini and Mission Moonshot. So that'll be, that'll be good fun to get into Gemini in this game as well. Kind of around the same time. So yeah, anyways, if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for new videos, have a great day, rest of your day, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye for now.